Okay, guys, we'll start from standing. We're gonna pull again to the spider guard. Okay, same position that we've been working. Grab the lapel, move a step with my right leg, connect the left foot on the hip, grab the sleeve, connect the foot on the bicep. In this case, I'm not gonna work outside, okay? And actually, I'm not gonna work too much to go to the, to the X guard. I'm gonna go and get an inside hook to the reverse the labrio. When I do that, okay, my partner's gonna drop his knee on the ground. Now, in the reverse de la riva, okay, from the spider guard, there's a common sweep is by grabbing the ankle and rotate on my shoulders to go to the back. But personally, I don't like to do that because when I let go this lapel, he's gonna grab my leg and he has more freedom now to move your arm up and drag my leg and push it to the side because he has, again, the freedom of moving his upper body. So that's why I don't like to grab the ankle, I like to grab, I'll keep the grip on the lapel. So what I'm going to do is move my hips from the outside to the inside of his, of his legs. So I'm gonna lift my hips up a little bit and I'm gonna do this transition. Once I do that, now I have more power with my legs, with my left leg and my right leg to bring him up, okay? But when I bring him up, I'm gonna start rotating and here I'm gonna let go of the lapel, going right away to the belt. And transition all the way to the back. Now my left foot connects behind his knee and now I can let go his sleeve, square up on his back, pull him toward my chest, and that's when I kick forward. Keep the hooks with my legs, go to the seat belt control, and here I'm gonna put one hook, okay? Whichever go hook goes first, that's where I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna keep my left foot hooking his leg to not let him bring the knee to the chest. Foot goes to the thigh, again, to not let him put bring the knee to the chest, till I get my second hook and I get his back. 